President Tsai Ing-wen on Sunday continued campaigning in the south of Taiwan, where she stopped off at eight different locations in and around Kaohsiung. In the morning, she visited a temple in Niaosong district to endorse a legislative candidate, where the president met a warm reception. As for reports that the KMT's presidential candidate Han Guoyu was rebounding in the polls, Tsai labeled them fake news and called on her campaign team to be wary of disinformation. President Tsai Ing-wen on Sunday was in Kaohsiung's Miaosung district, stumping for legislative candidate Lin Daihua to an enthusiastic crowd. A few days ago, her rival, KMT candidate Hung Wo Yu, fiercely criticised the DPP for smearing him in a way he claimed was quick and formulaic, just like two-minute instant noodles. On Sunday, Tsai embarked on a counter-attack. Recently, society has made some criticisms of him. He regards himself as a target of DPP smear tactics. He calls this political instant noodles. Actually, he blurts things out without thinking, saying something today and changing what he says the following day. As for reports that Han is climbing upwards in the polls and putting pressure on the Green camp and infuriating President Tsai, the president dismissed this as fake news. As the campaign enters its final stage, false news and rumours indeed are increasing. Therefore, we hope our entire campaign team can be even faster in clarifying rumours and false news that is being distributed. On Saturday, President Tsai and Lai Qingde campaigned on the same stage together to cheers and calls for Lai to be President Tsai's running mate. <laughs> Analysts think it seems more likely than ever that Lai, a former rival of President Tsai's, may end up being her running mate. However, when besieged by reporters' questions, President Tsai gave her standard non-committal response.